Yo, welcome everybody, welcome back to the Physics Channel, back here with another video. Today's video, since we're entering like towards the middle of the year, we're going to start doing some collection videos, just get caught up. And today we're going to be doing the title belt collection. So let's start out with the first belt that's sticking out here. Personally, I like the design of this belt. Um, I just don't like the shape of it. I don't like that it's, it's too much like the WWE Championship. But this is the United Kingdom Championship, like that belt. This is the uh, original Winged Eagle the original Wayne Beagle Championship. Really cool, I like that belt. Uh, next we have, personally, my favorite belt in my collection. Even though it's only go through like one figure, it looks so great with that one figure. It is Edge's Spinner Belt. We have the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Championship. We have the Intercontinental Championship. The spinner belt, it doesn't actually spin, which is unfortunate, but it is a WWE Championship. And personally, this is one of my favorite belts of all time. One, the shapes of the plates are great, and two, it's the belt that was there when I started watching wrestling. So it kind of has a sentimental meaning to it. We have the Cruiserweight Championship. That belt's honestly not, like, I don't really like that anymore. I used to like when it first came out, and uh, it's, it's honestly getting kind of bland. Uh, NXT Championship, the old one. I need to get a new one, but uh, I don't really ever use that. So here we have the WWE Championship, the uh, Jack Stack Team Championship in bad, bad condition. It doesn't even close anymore. Oh no, it fell on our setup. Here we have a SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. We have another SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. These are actually growing on me, to be honest with you. I still don't like the raw ones, but SmackDown is growing on me. I wish I would just stay there. Uh, U.S. title. Again, I like the, the idea and the design of the title. I just don't like the shape of it. It's too much like the WWE. You have to have individual belts. Like this. No belt ever looked like this. The European Championship. Now, obviously, there's, there's a belt somewhere. It's an indie promotion that looks similar to that. But we have a dull, unpainted tag team championship from a long time ago. Another dull, unpainted world tag team championship. We have the NWO World Heavyweight Championship. I wish I had, like, some NWO figures. I might look at that Nitro Notable pack if it ever, like, goes on sale for cheap at Target. I'll probably pick that up just to have that belt on someone or with someone in the collection. Here we have... Oh, dropped it. But that was the Hardcore Championship. We have the Women's Championship. The other Jax Tag Belt. John Cena's Spinner. It does spin. Spin US Championship. We have the Divas Championship. We have the WWE Championship with the Scratch logo. Just such great memories with like The Rock uh, holding that belt. Randy Orton. Uh, here we have the Painted World Heavyweight Champion, or er, World Tag Team Champions Chip. Here we have the Winged Eagle Championship, the Gold Chase Belt, WWE Championship, and last, and yeah, a little bit least. Honestly, this is one of my favorite belts. Um, just the way the red looks, it is the Raw Tag Team Championship from the original brand, brand split time. But uh, as you can see, all that's left in there is just like a little plate that I use to swap in and out for like videos. But with that said, guys, that was the entire belt collection. Hope you all did enjoy. I do thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.